disconnect the negative battery cable. I'm just going to use a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen it up. Take it off and make sure it doesn't arc out on it. Remove this engine cover. Just grab underneath, pull up, and then on the back as well. Force it up. These little grommets that hold it down. Remove this hose from right here and also up here. Just slide it off. I'm going to take this intake snorkel tube off. Just use an 8 millimeter socket. Take this worm clamp, loosen it up. And then same on this side, there's another one. Loosen that one up. Slide the snorkel off. And set it aside. Disconnect this connector right here. Push down. There we go. So just push down on that lock tab. Disconnect this connector right here. Just lose, use a pick to push back on this little lock, that little red tab, and then push down on it. Might have to slide underneath there. Loosen up the lock. And then there's a retainer right here. Just slide that off. Disconnect the connector. The push pin right here, you want to remove that. Just take a pocket screwdriver. Get underneath the top part of the push pin, get it loosened up, and then you can use a trim tool. There we go. And slide out the push pin. I'm just going to grab this part of the intake duct and slide it out. Just like that. You kind of got to push it towards the passenger seat and then just pull up. On the back side, so it's pushed on with this rubber seal onto the throttle body, and then there's these rubber grommets that hold it on in the back. Remove this vacuum hose right here. Use a pick. Get underneath the hose. Loosen up the seal. There we go. Slide that off. Remove the wiring harness. Some more clips that hold this wiring harness on. Slide that out. Disconnect this connector right here. Use a pick, pull back on the lock, push down on the lock. Disconnect the map sensor. There's a wire tie that holds this wiring harness right here. Just use a trim tool, slide it out. So remove the wiring harness from the bracket right here. And also right here. And there's another wiring, wiring harness right here. Remove that one. Remove this hose right here. Just use a 90 degree pick. Loosen it up. Slide that off and out of the way. Or you could remove it from down below as well. Remove these two nuts. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Remove this stud right here. I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket. Remove that stud. Then you can grab this bracket, slide it out of the way. You take this vacuum hose off that goes to the brake booster. You can try to take it off on the intake side or right here. It might be a little bit easier to take it off right here at this junction or this valve. <clears throat> Just use a pick. You can also use hose pliers and just grab and twist right here and just try to pull this out just like that. I'm going to remove this coolant hose retainer. Just use the trim tool get underneath and just pry up on that. Just try not to break anything. There we go. Pull this coolant hose out of the way. There's two nuts, one right here, one right here. Just going to use a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. Remove those. I'm going to remove seven bolts from the intake plenum. I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket. 
There's one here, two here, two here, and then two on the end. These bolts will stay in the intake. You just need to make sure they are loose. And you can grab the intake, lift up, slide it to the back, and slide it up. Because I don't want to get anything into the intake runners, just take some rags, put it in there, or you can cover the whole thing up with a rag. Just make sure you take them out before you put it back together. I'll just pull this pad off, this insulation pad. Now we can disconnect the connector on the coil. Just push down on the connector, slide it off. And there's a bolt right there. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And grab the coil and slide it out. Take the new coil and put a little dielectric grease in there, just a little bit. Slide the coil in position. Push it down. Take a 10 millimeter socket, tighten it up. Use a torque wrench. I can torque this to 71 inch pounds. Make sure you're not on foot pounds, it's inch pounds. And connect the connector, lock it in place, and then I can do the same with the other coils. Now we can put this foam piece back in position. You can remove these rags. I'm just gonna take a pick and take these seals out. I'm going to replace these. I'm just going to take a little brake parts cleaner on a rag and just wipe down these surfaces. Take the new gaskets, put those in position. Just take a rag with some brake parts cleaner and wipe the bottom of the intake. Just get some of that oil off. So when we go to slide the intake on, make sure you slide these studs into those brackets down below on the front. So we're gonna like angle it like this. Get it underneath here first. Just like that, that's good. Before you put this on, just check your intake runners, make sure nothing fell down there. Everything looked good on ours. And then tighten all these bolts down, just snug, and then we'll torque them. Now we're going to torque these in a sequence. I'm going to start with number one over here to 89 inch pounds. Make sure you're on inch pounds, not foot pounds. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Number six, and number seven. I'm just gonna move the coolant hose out of my way and put the two nuts on that are in the front of the intake. They go to that bracket. And just tighten them down. Push this coolant hose retainer into the intake right there. Take this bracket, I'm gonna position this over here. Put the two nuts on, get those started. And then take this stud and get that started. Be careful not to pinch any wires, snug these up. We install this wire retainer right there. Hook up this brake booster vacuum line. Slide that back on the hose. Take this crankcase breather hose. Slide this back onto the intake. Take the wiring harness. Slide that retainer back in there. And this clip over the hose. Just like that. This one goes here. Plug in the map sensor and push down on the lock. Take this retainer, just push
push that down right there. And same with on the front of the throttle body. This one right there. Plug this into the throttle body. And lock it in place. Now before we slide this onto the throttle body, just take a rag, make sure there's no dirt in there. Shake it out, make sure nothing's in there. It's good. Position this over here. And wiggle it onto the throttle body. Take this push pin, install that. Push it down, lock it in place. Take this air temp sensor connector, line that up, lock it in. Take this intake snorkel tube, line this back up. And tighten up the worm clamps. Take this crankcase crossover tube. This goes onto the valve cover right here and into the air box over here. Take the engine cover, line it up, and press it down. And connect the negative terminal on the battery and tighten it down.